Hello, my name is Randall Fisher. Congratulations on purchasing your new GPS navigator. Sometimes you may just want to mark your favorite fishing spot, or perhaps your favorite diving spot, or maybe just retrace a route that you traveled before. Well, we're going to show you how to do that in this video, along with many other features and functions of your new electronics. We suggest that you get your owner's manual ready and follow along with us. Congratulations on choosing a Raymarine Pathfinder Plus Series chart plotter. This program covers the operation for the models RL70+, Plus, RL70C+, Plus, RL80C+, Plus, RC530+, Plus, RC631+, Plus, RL70CRC+, Plus, and the RL80CRC Plus chart plotters. Video operation guides for the radar functions of these units that have radar are available as separate programs. If you have the sounder option, then you can also purchase an additional program covering the operation of the sounder or sonar fish finder portion of the system. The chart plotter includes a built-in small-scale map of the world. The chart plotter can also display detailed chart information from CMAP NT chart cards. Position data from GPS, DGPS, WAS or Loran C technology can also be displayed. The United States owns and operates the global positioning system. Although it is a very accurate and very useful aid, it does not replace the need for using good judgment and exercising caution and should never be used as a sole source for navigation information. The Global Positioning System is a worldwide navigation system consisting of a constellation of 24 satellites circling the Earth twice daily, approximately 12,000 miles above the Earth's surface. Your GPS receiver calculates your position, or simply put, your location through a mathematical process known as triangularization. In order for a GPS receiver to receive signals from satellites, its antenna must have a relatively clear, unobstructed view of the satellites. Although the signals from satellites will pass through such things as glass and canvas, large buildings, bridges, etc. may block the signals. Once your receiver has been initialized, it'll begin tracking the satellites and calculating a position much faster. To turn the display on, press and hold the power key until the unit beeps. If the display was last used as a chart plotter, the key 